So, going to be doing a review on a Star Wars novel, and I'm going to be honest, I really don't want to spoil this. I really do not want to spoil uh, this uh, particular Star Wars vo uh, volume, excuse me, novel. It's really good, and I know I normally spoil stuff on here, but I really don't want to on this one, because this one was so much fun. It's kind of like, you it's an experience you really have to look at for yourself. So just telling you guys uh, up ahead that there will not be any spoilers here, so you could probably go... Through. Yeah, you can more or less... There might be minor stuff here and there, but it's more to help the story along. I won't have any major spoilers um, in this comic. I will not have that. Just little minor ones that probably won't really damage the uh, how you look at this story. So the, so, so the novel in question is called Maul Lockdown. Yeah, Star Wars, a Star Wars novel, written by Joe Schreiber. Uh, yeah, jo um, yeah, Joe Schreiber, who, for those who don't know, he wrote the he wrote the not the Star Wars novel Death Troopers, which is the zombies in the Star Wars universe, and its prequel Red Harvest. I think he's also going to be doing another Star Wars novel, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong on that one. So, like I was saying. Um, this novel is really damn good. Just right off the bat, this novel is just completely awesome. I'm going to say this right up front. If you're a fan of uh, Darth Maul or anything to do with the Sith or anything, like, if you like the idea of what of what happened to Darth Maul that led up to uh, Episode 1 and his demise, then yeah, uh, <laughs> I highly recommend checking this out. If you're a fan of just Star Wars and Sith stuff in general, and if you are a Darth Maul fan... By all means, check this out. So, the story is is that Darth Sidious has sent Maul to a prison called Cog Hive 7. It's this max security prison that's also used as a battleground between inmates for the warden and her brother, who are more or less, uh, you know, they're uh, twin, bro you know, they're twin siblings, and the brother has come up with like a mathematical way to analyze which, to pit which an inmate against another. And uh, the warden, the sister, is the one who puts up the fights together. And Maul is sent in here. He's sent into this uh, this prison uh, via Sidious, like I said, to hunt down this like v incredibly elusive armed arms dealer who has a, who can help Sidious uh, get this weapon that he's looking for. Don't want to spoil what this weapon is, but it's something you re like if you know like extended Star Wars universe. You know what it is. You may you may get in like an inkling of what it is, but yeah, Maul in this situation doesn't have the, his lightsaber, and he doesn't really have a connection to the Force yet. He doesn't. He has some connection to the Force, but he's not really like in tune with it yet. This was a, when Maul was still Sidious's apprentice and still growing as a Sith Lord. In fact, he's not even con he's not really really even a Sith Lord to begin with. Yeah, at this point, Maul, uh, you know. Uh, Maul was still a not even a, a apprentice yet, even though he was apprenticing to Sidious. He wasn't even a Darth yet. This is a time period when Sidious was still, wor you know, under the guidance of uh, Darth Pelagius. Uh, City, you know, the Sidious, uh, the Sith Lord. I almost said Sidious, uh, the Sith Lord who was trying to find immortality. And they kind of allude to it in here, and it's actually explained further in the Sidious novel. Uh, I mean, excuse me, the Darth Pelagius novel, but in here, um, Sidious has Maul working under him to hunt him down, and meanwhile, he has to convince Pelagius that, yeah, I'm just sending this, uh, you know, this, you know, sending Maul here to kill him, because he might be a threat to the Sith, you know, to the, you know, to the Sith. So, yeah. And there are several characters in here that are very interesting throughout the, you know, every character in here is very complex, you, there are obvious assholes, but really there are some really likable characters. There's this father-son team who are trying to escape, and you really feel bad for them uh, throughout the story. You also have Maul himself, and then you have like a Twi'lek, a Twi'lek named uh, Zero, who is like one of the first inmates, and he's a collector of sorts. <laughs> and he's completely awesome. Then you have the gangs like called the Bone Kings and the Gravity Masses. The Bone Kings are totally terrifying, especially their leader Nailhead, who is you know they literally after they kill someone they debone them and wear them as a ski as skin. Ugh. This yeah, that's another thing I should mention about this about the uh, this this novel. Uh, 
do not give this to your children. Seriously, do not give this this novel to your children. This is like borderline R. There's some borderline R-rated like bloody deaths. Like Maul just finishes people. And keep in mind, he can't. You know, he doesn't have his lightsaber. He's not allowed to use the Force in here. He has to go in totally undercover via uh, you know due to Sidious's orders to hunt down this arms dealer and kill everything that gets in his way while surviving these ma- you know these matches. Uh, and there's just so much in here. You've got, uh, you know, you've got the, uh, the, you know, the rise of the separatist, of the uh, separatist movement, thanks to Pelagius and Sidious's uh, movements within the, uh, within the Republic. You've also got, you know, the Huts even show up. I'll say that, you know, Jabba the Hut shows up. That's that's a really cool moment. You've got uh, so much. You even got a Wampa in here. You've got a Wamp, uh, Maul fighting a, a Wampa. Yeah, that's an awesome fight, by the way. And how he kills it is amazing. That's like what he does to the Wampa is like Mortal Kombat finisher. <laughs> yeah, K- I will say this: Kano would be proud. I, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll say that much. <laughs> yeah, uh, this novel has just a lot of great action to it. There's some great dialogue. Maul, yeah, Maul does talk. I will say that, and I can't help but think of uh, uh, Sam, Sam Witwer. Uh, the vo- the voice actor for, who played uh, Galen in Star Wars Unleashed, and he played Darth Maul in uh, Clone Wars. So I, can't, I he really does fit in his voice. Like I imagine his voice whenever I hear Maul's uh, you know Maul's dialogue in here, and he is com- there again. There's just so much action in here. This is a very bloody novel. I do not recommend this for kids. But if you're like an older Star Wars fan, this is a great little standalone uh, standalone novel. If you're looking for like a one and done story of just Maul being an absolute, complete, total badass, and you want to see him like just completely kill people and want to see a little more violence in the Star Wars universe, look this up. I highly recommend this. I got the little paperback novels, and that's about eight bucks. the the uh, The hardcover, the big hardcover, was about. 30, like, damn near uh, $30. Yeah, that was about damn near $30. And I was like, nah, I'll just I'll just go with the small paperback. I'll just set, I'll set up with small text. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. So again, highly recommend this if you're a mall fan. Uh, you're really going to like the characters in here. Or you're really going to ha- not hate them like, oh, they're just so underdeveloped. You're more like, yeah, every one of these characters have their own stories to tell. And all of them started out one way, and then they evolve. You see how this pres- this prison just breaks them physically and mentally, uh, and Maul kind of suffers from that. Through that, you know, you know, the training through the dark side, it helps him kind of go through the motions here, and he clearly knows what he's doing. The best way I could, you know, in short, the best way I could describe this whole novel is think, uh, you know, if you ever seen the TV show Oz, think that but in the Star Wars universe. Just think Oz if you put it in the Star Wars universe. That's the that's the best way I could just d- describe this novel on a whole. <laughs> anyway, so once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I again, I highly recommend this uh, novel. And, uh, yep, once again, hope you all enjoyed this review, and I will see you guys later.